this is kind of funny. I found this when we were moving, and there's some history behind this thing now. Uh, and I'll show you uh, also a picture from where this came from. I'm celebrating my 30th year in the construction industry, and I thought I would just go back and look at some old projects and share some history. Thought it'd be kind of neat. If nobody else likes it, maybe my kids will like looking back on it years from now. But anyway, this is an old concrete, what am I saying? This is a wrought iron, a cast iron, I should say. It's cast metal uh, street sign. And this would have been placed on a concrete marker. Uh, probably four to six inches square and it would it would have been mounted you know with some sort of anchor to two sides of the concrete signpost and then the uh, other two sides would have been the cross street the story behind this is that I guess this is around 1983 was trying to figure out what I wanted to do as far as contracting. I went to work for an organization called Inner City Ministries as their construction coordinator and they had a program called the Adopt a Block program where volunteers came in and worked on inner city housing. And you know when you're young you think you're going to save the world. You know. So anyway we had volunteers come in and I was responsible for um, organizing the volunteers and showing them how to you know do work on the inner city homes. Well anyway one of the board members owned a house on Georgia Avenue and he wanted it demolished. So one of my first little projects as a uh, I forget exactly what age I was maybe 19, 19 or 20 years old was to tear down this old house and it was a row house. The gutter, the houses were so close together, the gutters basically touched. And I'll try to find some pictures of a house like that. Because the only picture I have is uh, where the house is basically torn down already. This was on the signpost and I was, I had asked John, the guy who was helping me, it was his dump truck. I asked him if I could use the dump truck for a minute to pull down some walls with a chain and he said sure well I get in the dump truck there's Max anyway I got in the dump truck and uh, without watching I ran over the, the signpost the concrete signpost with the dump truck and didn't even know it and so anyway the next day I pulled up and I saw it leaning over and I realized the signpost was gone it was broken and I took this off of it uh, as a memento. That was almost 30 years ago. And this, this thing has to be at least 100 years old. I don't know. It was the first signpost for Georgia Avenue. So anyway, that's just a neat little story. It's funny now. It's, it wasn't funny then. I, you know, I guess I could have gotten in big trouble. Okay, so here's a, a bunch of photographs I put together of some projects that I've done over the past 30 years. And uh, the only photograph I have of the project where I did the demolition work and I ran over the street sign is right here. This is the only surviving photograph and that's the dump truck I ran over the the street sign in and the street sign is over here on the other side of the truck the old location so it's kind of funny now looking back on it you know at the time you know it's kind of stressful you know you're trying to impress you know a customer when you're 19 or 20 years old and and uh, you know you do something like that it's, it's a little embarrassing but you know looking back on it it's kind of funny there's John that was his dump truck I hired him to help me 
haul off the debris. You can see how close these buildings are. We basically this thing was two stories tall, and we had to tear it down by hand down to the first floor uh, because it was too close to use any machinery. And we finally got it down to this point. And we started tying chains around the uh, you know the walls and jerking them down with the dump truck. And that's when I ran over the street sign. I don't know if there's some interest in any of these kind of little vlogs. I'll uh, I may do a couple more just for the fun of it and uh, show some more old pictures of projects I've been involved with for the past 30 years. But you know, if you guys get bored, there's my little fat booty working on a habitat house. Uh, I was a construction coordinator for two years for the first habitat um, in Chattanooga. And uh, there's a news article about that. There's our first habitat house in Chattanooga. So anyway guys, thanks and uh, I appreciate you watching.